Hello everybody, this is Sonia. I'm just checking to see what time I have to turn this off because I am not really fine with what I'm supposed to be doing today. <laughs> now, I don't know if I put the other two episodes of this up, but if I didn't, well, we'll start at this one, okay? So I'm trying to redo this piece of work that somebody started and all well, they've done and it's all fallen apart because it's very very old um, I did have the one here that I did a long time ago um, that I just kept because I like it I liked it and I just did that to it so there's a, I've, I've stitched around the majority of it because it was all falling apart. I did leave some of the ladies' work on there that never did it the first time. All that in the middle is original from there. Some some of these other bits on the green it might be original. That blue is there. The rest of the things I've put on myself to um, make it sort of bit, bit, better fix it up. So this one here had... I might have, I, I won't put the videos up that I started this because I'm going to just start it from here for you, okay? I've put a stem stitch around the outside of this. I've done a chain stitch there where that was all worn off and I've put that on there because I wanted a patch. I'm putting that on there because I want a patch but I'm thinking now I want to put a butterfly on that instead of the that bit there. So I'm going to show you how to do that. These are a couple of the um, pieces that I did a while back to put on a bit of work that I'm using. So I've got the idea, well, well I didn't get, well, I got off what I did there and um, other people have done as well. And I thought I could use these leaves these, and, and put some beads and things on these leaves because these leaves have come off some, move that out of the way. These leaves have come off some lace or something. Now, whether I can fit this on this piece, I don't know, because I don't think I left any room. Because I'd really like to put that on there and beat it. And also have the um, butterfly somewhere, I think. Maybe the pink one. Good, wouldn't it? Yes, definitely the pink one. But I've got to do still a lot more work on that. And I have to fix these leaves up. These leaves. Okay, let's do that. Let's cover the leaf, leaf, leaves <laughs> that the lady's already put there. The person, whoever, could be the man. They do embroidery too. Men like to do embroidery as well. I could put that there, couldn't I? And beat it. And the men, I'd have to take that out. Okay. Now I'm in Australia. I don't know if I told you that because I can't remember because. I've got so much stuff that I've been doing in here this morning. I've got things everywhere. I've been quite having fun, though. I mean, you know, if you enjoy yourself, you can keep going. So I thought I did like the idea of putting beads and stitches on these bits that I found. Because when you look into the stuff that you've got, you'd be surprised what you can find. Now, maybe I should take that one off there and put the leaf on there. Maybe I should do that. I'll do that. I'll take this bit off. And put it on here. I mean, I could start another piece, but gee, <laughs> I've got so many to work on. I can't sort of um, get myself. I don't know why my mojo has gone. He's running off somewhere. Run off somewhere. I can't get it back. Very really good. I'm just. I don't know. The weather's gone bad again. It's got rain in here. It got stuck on me again. I'm, <laughs> I'm supposed to be going up the street now. And it's raining, so I can't. But tomorrow it says it's not going to, so we'll try again. Okay. Oh dear. So I need. You know what I did? I went back to sleep again. I don't think that's a bad thing. I think I need to sleep. I slept for it's about two hours this morning after I got up, had my breakfast, and then went back to sleep. It's okay. I don't, I'm not worrying about that. Which way do these all go? The same or what? Yeah, right. That way it doesn't quite fit on the hoop. Oh, you can take it over there. There's nobody said you couldn't have it on that bit, did they? No, they didn't. 
who, who would have said that? So, nobody. But I really think I'd like it that way. I do think I'd like it there. It's going to block out a bit of this one. <coughs> don't think that's going to matter though. Look at this one. Anyway, that's going to be in the in the next bit. <coughs> I think I might take that one out there. It's a little bit, it's a little bit old and had it. So that one's there, not too bad. But your things fall apart after a while, don't they? They don't stay to, to forever. I just, I just will just have to be extra careful going around there because um, when I want to put it onto something. I have to be able to put it onto something, aren't I? And I don't have a smaller leaf. Well, I probably do, but um, that'll take a minute to find it. So my hands have got. Oh, I've been I've been sorting out beads again because I'm going to pack away a lot of my things and um, just put around me what I need so I can find it, you know. But I was sorting out some beads and I got carried away, you know how they. <laughs> You know, I was, I've gonna, I was going to do one of these with the... Uh, mm, no, I want to do this one. I definitely do want to do this one. And I'm going to put colours on it. It's going to look really nice. So let's get started before there's time to finish. Okay, I'll do some white thread because it is white. But then by the time I've added a few things to it, it might look okay, I hope. I hope it works all right. Um... I've been working on some other pieces, but not doing that much, so. You know where you think you're going to do something and you think it's going to turn out one way and it just does not? <laughs> I've had a few issues with that lately. I've tried to do a few different things and, and it just didn't work for me, so. I'm just going to stitch this down really quickly, I hope. Because I do want it to be in a right place and then I want to put some beads on that but we can't go too far with the beads I don't think it just depends what I do with the rest of it I guess I'm restoring it I suppose back to whatever I might use this for a um, a side panel on something if I can find if it turns out that I can make it squarish I might make a box or something I don't know I could put it on its lid I can even make a round one then can't I don't I'll have to make it I can buy a round box and put it on <laughs> I make a lid for something I could I could make one out of fabric anyway couldn't I yes there's lots of this this I put myself into these situations don't I where I've got to have to make a lot of things to finish what I'm doing <laughs> But anyway, hope everybody's good out there. Hope you're all well. It's all, um, we're all doing the best we can, aren't we? Under the circumstances. <laughs> all the best we can. Okay. Now, come back here. <laughs> chugging it flying. Right. That's one. So I'll have to end it off. Where am I? I don't make it too long a loop. Right, I'm going to get a bead needle because we're going to put some beads on. But I want to do a bit of stitching on it as well. It just can't be just beads, can it? I don't think. I don't think. You never know. So, um, I had that sitting there for quite a while while I was looking at it the other day. But... I should probably do something a bit more with that piece. It's already gone underneath that, and it does, it, that doesn't matter. It's just it's going to be some sort of different design that I'm going to put on here, I suppose. Now, I do have a needle book here with my needle in it that I put in there this morning because I... Ah, now I'm on thread. It doesn't really matter. I didn't have much thread on it in the first place. Um, and to put around this here. Maybe I'll do the stitching first. Maybe I'll do a bit of stitching first, eh? That'll be this way, with thread. 
or did I put it somewhere else today? Now it's here. That looks nice. In keeping with my ideas, I suppose. Small bit of green. I think there's some in that box next to the table here, on the table. Yeah, I picked it up off the table and put it here. Right, that's too dark. It's probably a bit pale, but I'm going to put the pink around the outside of this. I'm going to just go and see what I see what I come up with. I don't think I'm very artistic. <laughs> I have this thing about, I don't know, <laughs> I don't understand, I guess, I guess I do know what artistic is, I guess. <laughs> uh, what sort of art do you like, people? So let me know, what sort of art do you like? I can only see art in a few things, like um, embroidery, <laughs> I guess, and paintings, of course, but not ones that I don't. There's some I could just don't understand, I just don't know why, but I don't. Because if you, I can't work them out, I guess people do the, the abstract thing. I'm really amazed how people can stand around and talk about it and say what it is, and you think, oh, can you see that? Because <laughs> I know, I don't know, I must be just ignorant, I don't know. <laughs> I'd like to see actual, I do, you know, people would do land some beautiful landscapes and portraits and all that sort of thing I can understand them but I don't understand the other ways oh gee this looks really cool doesn't it hey this looks really cool I do like what I'm doing here I'm doing a cross stitch I think you call this I guess it's a cross stitch you, you just go forward and back forward and back You can see what I'm doing. I'm doing. Sorry about this if I've mucked it up. <clears throat> you know, I might find it a little bit tricky when I get to the edge bit. But at least I got that bit under there where I can fasten this onto something else and make it a bigger thing. I'm going to do. Um, I can't sort of finish a sentence here this morning. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm very thirsty. I'm really thirsty today. Sometimes that does happen to me. That look at that. Don't you think that looks really cool? It's really going good. Now I've got to come around the corner. I'm actually going to put that down there, wherever that is, and I'm going to try and come figure out how to come around the corner. I'll put a stitch in this. Hold that down. Right. I suppose there's a, there's a way of coming around the corner, but I'm just not on that this morning. Am I? I'm not on the ball. Okay. Now you could put on, cut out your own leaf if you wanted to put on something like this. I thought, I did the squares with the button and the, that on it, but I thought to myself, I should probably do a shape, a few shapes, I don't know, just different things. And I found these this morning, I found a lot of things this morning. And, um, and I wasn't even looking in a very big... <laughs> I wasn't drifting very far to find all these things that I found. Because... As I said to hubby yesterday, the last few times that we've actually did the room, we haven't gone through the packets and the the, the, ba the boxes, and they've just got anything in them. And I found oh, a lot of stuff. I found all the stuff from the Gypsy Journal. 
I found the moon I made. I don't know if I showed you that because I don't know what videos I'm putting up yet. So I just think I'll start this one. I suppose I could do the, show you the, what it looked like before. Well, this is pretty much it over here. That's what it was like before I put that bit in. I haven't done a lot on it. So I just want to start on this one because that way you won't have to worry about watching the, that bit of process of that. I'm keen to get the beads and that on, um, you know, to give it a little bit of a... and some more fancy stitches. I'm going to try and be thready. I wonder if it'll go across that way. Might fit over there and then I can... There we go. I'll fasten it down a bit better with something else shortly. And it wasn't too hard getting around that... Um, what's the name? I'm going to make a knot. It wasn't too hard getting around the, the hoop. You just sort of come in at an angle when you're sewing on that. <coughs> I'm going to have to get a mouthful of water so I can keep on talking. <laughs> I have a tongue stuck in the roof of my mouth now. It's gone that bad. <laughs> but I've been trying not to drink so much. I know that's weird, but I am trying not to drink so much. And then other things start going wrong with your body. Now, I do like that. I want to make this wide. I don't think they're wide enough, these bit, these petals. But I don't know how or when I'll be doing that. Probably in the next video, if I can keep myself interested. I will be, I suppose. I've got to have a... I've got to do something. All right, now. It's not that long before the show's on. And Jeremy's got his thing worked out for his entries and I've got to do mine because I've got to put them in tomorrow I'm not, not actually take them there but I've got to enter them so i just got a few bits to do um you know what excuse me I want to put some beads around here and this morning I went through and sorted out a few bits and pieces um could have showed you these, I don't know, these are what I got from Timu, they weren't in this box, I, I just bought all these and I put them in there, isn't that fun? This morning I was working on putting some of these in different places because I wanted these metal things in here so I could find those. Um, what colour am I looking for? Something that's oh, maybe a goldish sort of thing I think, a bit of gold on it or into the metallic beads, I think. Or something yellow. The goldish sort of ones in there. Goldish. <laughs> That's a word. <clears throat> I got the thread, but I didn't thread the thread. I just thread the needle. Okay. Very good. Now, if I go around the edge of this, and put a little bead or two in, don't tip it up, Sonny, because then it'll be be wrong if you do. Okay, so do I want the gold ones or do I want the green? I think they'll look alright. These little gold ones. I'll put these in here. Alright. So this is a 
piece, of course, that I'd bought, I think it was a while back now. Or maybe not. Or did I just get this bit? I don't know, I got some not long ago, didn't I? I might have just found this one in a box somewhere that I had for a while, I think. So here I am putting these in here. Now I'm going to go, hopefully I've got time to stitch that. We've got a few colours because that box, well, the one that was in before, tipped over and they all went into one another's little corners. But now these boxes are really good. I've probably said that many times because they just come right down to the top of the little edges that go either side of that so they don't tip from one side to the other. So. That's a good thing. I'm putting all my beads in them boxes. The majority of the ones anyway that I'm going to be using. Oh goodness me. Don't like that when that happens all the time. It's really annoying, isn't it? But you can't help it though. These things do happen. Am I doing this right? <coughs> I'm just doing it in the bottom bit, aren't I? Right -o. I need some more of these needles. I love these needles. For years I've been looking for proper good bead needles and they they just come to me in Timu. <laughs> I don't really like going to street shopping much anymore. Now that we found Timu. Oops, that's the wrong colour. That's not purple. I know that's terrible, isn't it? But you know there's I can't buy anything second-hand cheaper than what I can get on Timu. Dear, things that second-hand are all dearer than what Timu is, so that's, you know, why would you... The only thing about it is I don't like waiting. I don't like waiting at all. <laughs> you know, but you have to wait. That's the way things are. All the stuff we get come from China anyway, whether they're coming from some other shop or not. I'm always saying that, aren't I? But it's true. They come from them in the first place and then people just put their own brand or whatever on them because they, they buy them or they get them to make them for them or whatever it is. I don't know how that bit works, but... And besides them, them poor people might be working for not much money, but they, they wouldn't have a job if we didn't buy the stuff from them, would they? They wouldn't have any money at all. I'm not just, I'm not trying to, it is good, it is good when you can get something that's not so dear. And a lot, the variety, I don't know how many times, oops, I've been on there looking for stuff, and there's just pages and pages and pages, you're tired of looking, <laughs> you're tired of looking for things. I want to buy myself a nice ceramic bowl. Because I eat most of my food in a bowl. You know, I just do because, oh well, except if there's... If I drink, if I have some rice or some noodles or some curry or something, it's mostly in a bowl. So I like, I like a personal bowl for some reason. Anyway, I just, um... And a nice cup, I always have a nice... Jeremy has his cup and I have my cup and the rest of the cups just stay in the cupboard. Same with the glasses, I use the same glasses <laughs> all the time. I've got to have ones with handles so I can hold on to it. <clears throat> I'd like to find some nice ones of those because ones that I've got are mostly like they used to be like a beer glass. This is what I use here, look, see? These and they are we... I think they used to they used as a beer glass, but they're my water. Mm. I used to have a beautiful one, red one with a leg, and I don't know why. I mean, it was my my ex husband and his wife occasionally used to come and visit years ago because I, they can't now because she's in a wheelchair. But um, 
ex-husband broke it in our kitchen one day when he was here. Okay, so that was that was the end of that. I haven't been able to find anything like it since. It was flash it was, just a thing down to drink water. And I know this is not going to sound very good, but my bird used to love getting in there and having a bath. I never drank out of it while he was in there having a bath, of course, and always it was washed thoroughly after he'd always had, had his bath. He loved bathing in my glass of water. <laughs> he did. He must have thought it was a flash. He was a beautiful baby. He was a beautiful baby. I do miss him, you know, and he's been gone for many, many, many years. But you do miss him, don't you? He used to sit on me, beanie, while I was knitting and that and watch me. <laughs> I got some good pictures anyway. He used to dance. He used to love listening to that song rocking all over the world. I don't know how it goes, but you'd play that and he'd be jumping up and down and, and laughing and talking. He, you know, he was beautiful, he was. And he, he was a budgie, but he was just a, just a, he was a, he was a baby budgie. He was a lovely little fella. He wasn't, I had him for about a year, maybe. I saved him out of the bird's cage around out the back. And he fell out, the, they kicked him out of the nest, so I picked him up off the floor and brought him inside and looked after him until he got, and he was amazing. I wanted to get himself out of the cage and now a cat ate him. That's not good, is it? That was a very bad thing to have happen because we weren't home. And he was too clever for his own good, I suppose. That wasn't a very nice thing to say about him, but a little, little stinker, he got, he got murdered. But anyway, the cat still survived for many years. <laughs> that one that then, that's not the one we got now. Okay, so I've got five minutes, and I'm just going to sew a tiny bit around here for a second. There, there, there. I want to know what I'm going to do with this, with this, is what I want to know. It's what I want to know, whether I'm going to go around and have it again with a different colour, because I don't I don't think it's thick enough. I know the plants only have... I'll try it. I'll try putting this around the outside of that as well. And we're going to do more in that, of course. This is just the start of it, isn't it? Just the beginning. Anybody. So if you want to subscribe to my channel, that would be very nice, and I'd like you to leave a thumbs up, please, so people will, so my algorithms will get better. If you do want to watch the ads, that would be very nice. It's up to you. It's a personal choice, um, of course, but uh, it does help me to come back on here and show you what I do. Um, sometimes I might teach you something. <laughs> That you don't know, you never, you never know, you know. I've got thousands of videos up there, and there's these, oh, you can go watch me all day, you know, and you wouldn't see them all. It's um, been a big journey, and I hope to keep going on with it, but, oh, well, sometimes I'm not as here all the time like I was before. And when I go around this corner here, I like to stitch me that down on the corner, maybe that doesn't need it. If it's going to stick stick up in the air. Okay, it's not going to. Sometimes that lifts up. Right, now which way am I going? This way? I hope so. The, the cotton's underneath. Is that what I've been doing? Because if it's not, it'll look different. If I don't do the same thing. Oh yeah, that looks good. Well, that looks nice, doesn't it? I do like that. I'm going to do the whole thing now. I've got lots of to do on that, haven't I? I'll do the whole thing. And I was, I'm looking at that button thinking, why didn't I put something different on? But <laughs> it's just how the things go, I suppose. Now we come up here to start. We don't have to go right down in there because it can't fit this in there anyway. Oh dear, I just scratched my leg. Sorry about this. A 
birds are all up, up and talking lately. They're all about. So they're gonna, it's going to be. It's, well, it's coming to springtime, isn't it? That's why. They're very talkative. Jim said, "Yes, I do." Them birds are getting loud. They get out the back of them. We've got a big um, bottle brush tree out the back, and it's. They get up in there and they sing and they fight. I had a lovely time. They do. Singing and fighting. Maybe they're not fighting. I don't know what they're doing. Well, I suppose whatever these birds do. I don't have to go down in there to hold that down. I don't like it to get away on me. This fabric is very um, old, but it's holding up well. It's holding up well. Do you think this is going to look alright when it's all over it? Oh, I think it might. It might give it a bit of lift along, eh? It might give it a lift along. I'll bed the centre. I will. I'll put some beads on the centre of it. Mm, that there's lifted up, like I say how it does. I don't like it when it does that, because it, make it makes a gap, doesn't it? We come up there and we're going to lift this over the top of it. It's not that bad, but I still don't want to, want to fasten it down. There we go, and this one too, I'm going to do it. I think that's going to look really good when I finish that, and this will too, and I'll put whatever I find and decide to put onto here, whatever happens, you know. I'm thinking I might eliminate that one, I just don't know yet. We'll see how we go. Anyway, thank you very much everybody for watching. I hope you're having a good day. And I'll have to continue on with this piece when I'm in me downtime, when I'm creativity's gone out the window. Okay, thank you for watching. I'll talk to you later. Okay, bye-bye.